Locked. I don't want to get stuck at a vent with a dinosaur. Besides, there's blood everywhere. Ow! Hot! A flare kit. This might come in handy. Leave the door alone. We're not going back out that way. Why not? Because we aren't backtracking, and those damn creatures could still be out there. Understand. I thought the dinosaurs couldn't breed. They can't. They're all female. Then how do they lay eggs? Theropods shed eggs just like most other ovip um, egg-laying animals. Think about chickens. The whole egg market is made up of unfertilized eggs, right? Oh, yeah. So they still have to lay them? Oh, my. What is it? You bring up a good point about our dinosaurs ovulating. But these eggs are gathered in a clutch. This is brooding behavior. So, chickens will brood a large enough clutch? But not our dinosaurs. I've found post-ovulatory eggs in the ranges. They're mal-shaped, usually destroyed or kicked into the bush. I see. Wait, it, we can't jump to any conclusions. How could this even be possible? Could a girl dino turn into a boy dino? With Dr. Wu's slapdash approach to gene sequencing, anything could go wrong. So if this whole trip was, like, set up to scare me away from shoplifting, mission accomplished. This tunnel looks tall enough for everyone. Maybe we should go this way. Jess, stand back from the grate. You don't know what's down there. I'm just trying to help. I know, Jess. I just can't keep my attention on everything at hand, plus you. Sorry to be such a burden. Could I pick this lock? Not that I would know how, but I don't want to add breaking an entry onto my dad's list of my criminal tendencies. These Trodon, what else can you tell me about them? Well, they're nocturnal. They're intelligent, like raptors, but they don't hunt like them. They envenomate with a single bite, then back off. Stalk their prey. Their teeth are serrated and retain saliva, and the saliva is saturated with the toxin. Nema's bite. It was from a Trodon? Yes, definitely. Nima. What can you remember about that animal that bit you? I didn't see it when it attacked. It went by so fast. It was dark. After it bit me, I became confused, like, like I'd been drugged. I remember there were many of them. They had glowing eyes. Glowing eyes? Yeah. Like ojos del lobo. Maybe we should get going. Are you sure? Yeah, if you're ready, Billy. Billy, did you find something? No, nothing. Is everyone ready? What about decaf? I took care of that. It looked like you took something off him. 
And if he has something that will help us... I didn't find anything. I took his dog tags. Insurance doesn't pay out to his family unless his dog tags are returned. Satisfied? Right. Sorry for pushing. Should we bring him with us? Why bother? He's already buried. Look, I know where his body is. We're not equipped to transport it. Hopefully, we can retrieve his remains when this is all over. All right, listen up. Everything that just happened, bygones, understand? Doc, tell me again about the phones. Um, according to the terminal in my lab, the marine exhibit phones are still connected to the transceiver. The visitor center phones Too are- Too far away, okay? And we can get to the exhibit through the tunnels? They're all interconnected. I think I can still find- The answer is yes. Thank you. All right, we all have the same priorities here now. We get to this marine exhibit and find the phone. We get another chopper in the air to lift us out from there. How are we gonna get there? Trodon could still be out there. We aren't equipped to treat any more bites. We have to- Shh. I will not be shushed. The door. Oh no. They're coming through the vent! Past the door. Terry, get that crate open. I'm on it. I need something to break the lock. We'll find that something. Jerry.
No. Which way, Laura? I don't know where we are anymore. We, we need to head towards the north. The desalination plant. That's where the marine exhibit is. Look, follow the red conduit. feet underground. I have no idea where we are. Well, we can't just sit around with our thumbs up our butts. Uh, I don't hear them anymore. Their behavior seemed territorial. Maybe we're far enough away from the nest that they gave up on us. We might have outpaced them, but we're not exactly in a secure location. Which way are we heading, Doc? Um, look over here. Can you read these? Maybe. If I can find... Yes. Yes. Okay. We're at a four-way intersection. There are only four such intersections on the plan. Let me just cross-reference these detail labels. Okay, we just have to figure out which intersection we're at. Look around the corridors for any distinguishing features. I'll see if I can eliminate possibilities. Maybe I can help with the plans. They look pretty simple. These symbols are access ladders. These thick lines represent large pipes. The circles are water tanks. And these boxes with the crosses in them are power relays or transformers. Does it help any? Not on its own, but I can tell that the different intersections seem to have some small inconsistencies in layout. The ladder on the right, and on the far wall at the end. There's a big yellow pipe going down the left wall. It crosses over the ceiling partway down the corridor. It looks like the corridor ends in a T intersection. I see some sort of water tanks at the end of the hall. What do you think, Jess? Probably not this one? Yeah, I don't think so. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. There are these two big electrical boxes of some kind on the right. There's a big yellow pipe that goes down a bit on the left, and then crosses over to the other side. I see two ladders along the left of the tunnel. The tunnel goes straight and then turns to the right. I'm just gonna cross this one off. Okay, I hope you're right. There's a set of water tanks part way down the corridor on the right. I see one ladder at the end of the hallway. This tunnel only goes down a few dozen yards to a dead end. 
a big yellow pipe that goes down the left wall and into the floor. There's a set of water tanks partway down the corridor on the right. 